To navigate to Users and System Administration from Portal Home, click the gear wheel to the left of the search bar and select Users and System Administration. Setting up departments and groups or roles is beneficial when setting up app permissions, process management, notifications, or mentioning groups of people in comments. Instead of including each individual user, you can just use the entire department or group. Additionally, if an employee leaves the company, you won't have to go in and change any permissions. Simply add their successor to the department or group and they will receive the same notifications and permissions set. When creating your departments and groups or roles, you'll notice they are located in different spots within Users and System Administration. This is because they're set up a little differently and have a few different features associated with them. This visual shows how to differentiate departments, groups, and roles using job titles. First, you'll want to set up your departments and add each user into the appropriate department. With departments, you can set them up with a hierarchy, add in department administrators to manage user profiles in their department, and set up department access control to limit access to other users in different departments. Groups allows you to dynamically add members. Once you have your department set up, you can create groups that add in members if they meet certain criteria, like belonging to certain departments or having a specific job title. You can even include people from multiple departments in a single group. From Departments and Users, you can create a new department. Just select New Department, fill out the name of the department, any optional settings if desired, and click Save. You can also create sub-departments. To do this, simply hover over the department you'd like to add a sub-department to. Select Add Child Department. Enter the name of the sub-department and click Save. Next, let's take a look at Job Titles. From Job Titles, click New. Enter the job title in an optional description and click Save. You can give a user a job title by editing their user profile. Just add them to a department and select the job title from the dropdown and click Save. Now let's set up a group. From Groups or Roles, click New. Name the group and add an optional description. You can choose to create a static group, which will allow you to manually add in users, or a dynamic group, which will automatically add users based on set criteria. Static groups are good when you need to group together users who all don't necessarily have anything in common. An example could be a party planning committee. The users are part of a group, but come from all over the company and are in many different departments and roles. A dynamic group is great for grouping people by their role. For example, you could have a manager's group that auto adds anyone with the job title manager. Once you decide your type, you'll click Save. And then next, click the gear wheel to the right of the saved group and select Edit Membership Conditions. To create our manager's group, we'll select All Conditions Are Met, Job Title Includes Any Of, Manager, and click Save. You'll see now it auto-added Michelle, who we just set as a manager for her job title. So as you get started in Kintone, I highly recommend setting up your departments first. As you and your team start using the system, you'll learn more and more how you want to break the users up even further into groups. Thank you.